Greetings YTPC, it's Peter Piper the True Light coming to you on a Friday at 1710 hours Eastern Standard Time minus four hours Greenwich Mean Time for my global subscribers. I'm smoking my Savinelli Trevi 626. Beautiful pipe. One of my favorites. Six millimeter filter. And I use the uh, balsa system. Uh, works for me. The charcoal filters just restrict the draw too much for me. And uh, <clears throat> although I may go back to them at some point. With some tobacco, it depends on the tobacco and whatnot. And in it, I am smoking some Squadron Leader. There's a story behind this. Um, let me get relit first. Mm. Squadron Leader is a great blend. It's an English blend. It contains Virginia, uh, Oriental, and uh, Latakia, or Latakia, depending on what part of the country you come from. And this was gifted to me by uh, Mark in Rhode Island. And I, uh, I saw something on YouTube, uh, a review of Squadron Leader, and I wanted to, uh, you know, watch that while I smoked some of it. And I, I saw it on my computer, my work computer, and then uh, I tried to look for it on my cell phone, and I couldn't find it. But lo and behold... I did a search, Squadron Leader Tobacco, and up came uh, a review on Squadron Leader by none other than the late Matches 860. And the tin of Squadron Leader he had came from the same source that I received it from, from Mark. God bless him. Um, it's a great, a great English Oriental blend. I think I'm smoking my second or third bowl of it right now. But, Match was just talking about how he was intrigued by the the artwork on the tin, and uh, never really wanted to try it other than than that. And uh, then he got the tin from Mark, and uh, he opened it. He had several bowls, and he was giving a review. Anyway, the thing that struck me, and I'm going to leave a link to Match's review down in the ash bucket because it's uh, it's just fun to watch. And one of the things he said that kind of took me aback was he said, you know, a lot of his. Uh, videos he does outside and he, he either goes to a park or somewhere where uh, there's water or a pond or a lake or a river and he said I'm in heaven right now <laughs> and 
And I said, yes, you are. Uh, that's awesome. And uh, it looks like his channel's been monetized. And I hope, I hope to heck that uh, the monetization of Match's channel is at least, at the, that at least his family is getting some benefit from that. I hope so. Anyway. Another relay. Stand by. On another note, I spent last weekend in Maryland. And uh, I visited with uh, my good friend John, who has cancer. And uh, he really got a big kick, about, kick uh, out of me coming down there to see him. And uh, it was great to see him again. Um, he is very sick. And uh, once again, I'd like to ask for your prayers for him. Um, I visited with both him and his wife. We had a great time together. Uh, John and I went out to dinner on uh, Friday night when I arrived. I drove down uh, 95 South and I took uh, 287 across the, uh, what used to be called the Tappan Zee Bridge. Apparently now it's named after the late Governor Como. And uh, took the Garden State Parkway, pretty heavy traffic. It took me about eight, it was about an eight hour trip that way. And then the Jersey Turnpike and Delaware Bridge and 95 South into Maryland. Going back, <clears throat> martini time. Going back, I, uh, I didn't take the uh, Garden State. Um, I just went straight 95 and uh, it was much more expensive actually. And my easy pass went negative, and I had to replenish it once I got back home. Hopefully there's no consequences to that. Uh, and I took the Washington Bridge, had some heavy traffic through there, but it was much quicker. I made it in six hours back to Rhode Island. Um, and I think the tolls have gone up. Um, anyway... Great to see John. He was happy. Um, he was happy to see me. He had as most as much energy as a man could muster to um, do what he did. We took walks in several uh, parks. We went out to breakfast on Saturday morning. His wife, him, and me, and uh, then we went to uh, Gunpowder State Park in Baltimore County and later to uh, a place called uh, Mariner Point Park where I used to live in Joppa, Maryland. And uh, the cancer spread to his lungs now and he had to take his oxygen bottle a couple of times. But boy, he really, uh, he really was a trooper. Of course, he was a former Marine, so it uh, doesn't surprise me. And, uh, you know, we had lunch together and then, uh, and then dinner together at his home. We called out and got, uh, we got Indian food that night. That was great. I got some curried lamb with rice, went off my keto diet and, uh, watched some shows on TV and then went to church the next day, Sunday at uh, his church, Rosedale Baptist Church. And uh, 
it was just a great time. We went out to breakfast after that, and after that I headed back. Um, so that was a lot of fun. So, uh, planning a vacation. My wife and I are planning to go to the Isles of Langerhand. Look it up. It's a, a very remote place. Very remote. Um, and uh, we'll be enjoying our time there. Uh, there, you know, an island, what can you say? Ask your travel agent about it. It's a great place. On that, I'm going to finish this bowl, maybe have another one. Finish my martini and have dinner. I want to wish you all a uh, happy April 1st, and uh, check out the Isles of Langerhand. So it's Peter Piper, the True Light. Remember to speak the truth, seek enlightenment, and God bless. Take care, folks.